there's a couple things about caregivers in general. There's the short term and the long term caregiving. And I, I'd like Kathleen to kind of like address that a little bit, uh, the discussion between short term caregiving and addressing that in long term. And, and I think I'd like to hear a little bit about that first, and then we can move into some other topics. So I think on the short term, uh, the caregiver is grieving right along with the person that's diagnosed. Um, in addition to uh, feeling angry and worried and concerned and sad and all of the rest, um, there's a, a helpless feeling because they wanna do something, they wanna make it better, they wanna fix it. And of course, um, cancer is something that just can't be fixed in, in the way that they would like to make it all go away. So I think for the short term, acknowledging the helplessness uh, for the caregiver, and then also the burden of like, now they might have the roles that they had, but now they might have to take, take up the caregiver roles. So um, maybe driving, um, maybe uh, working, if the caregiver needs time off work, but they're still working. Maybe there are other roles that the caregiver did that for a period of time, they're not able to do. So they're kind of doing double duty. So it's really easy for the caregiver not to think of themselves at all and put the whole focus on, on, the, on their partner with cancer. And I think that that, that on the short term, I, it, it's so understandable, but for the long term, it doesn't work very well. So I encourage caregivers um, as quickly as possible to do the things they normally do to take care of themselves, whether it's walking or yoga, or just going out with their friends, um, uh, having other people to talk to, coming into a group um, and talking with other spouses or caregivers. Um, because um, I think sometimes the, the men with cancer say, uh, I, could, I could never have gotten through this without my caregiver, my partner, my spouse, whoever that special person is. And yet, how do I get them to back off when I need them to back off? And I think what they really mean is sometimes the, the caregiver makes that person their whole life. And that's not good for the person diagnosed and it's not good for the caregiver. So it's helping them get back to some sense of normalcy again. Um, each person kind of sharing and being vulnerable with each other, like Julie said, but also having time for yourself and, and um, seeking out support for yourself. Um, uh, so many times caregivers um, don't even realize that they need support as well as the person going through it, sometimes as much and sometimes even more. Yeah, do you have uh, any opportunities for caregivers to speak with other caregivers? So we do. So we have, um, uh, we have a men's group for men with cancer and, and that's great, uh, a great opportunity for uh, men to come in and talk with other men going through this. And, uh, and boy, <laughs> Julie talked about being vulnerable. The men are very vulnerable and open with their feelings, but also they have just this tremendous, tremendous sense of humor. Um, it's one of my favorite groups to do, but at the same time we have the spouses get together and, or um, uh, partners or special people in that person's life. So we do both. Um, we have all kinds of programs, not just the support group for, for partners, spouses, and the support group for the men going through the cancer. But we have yoga and um, music therapy and meditation and spirituality and with cancer and all kinds of uh, programs. A lot of them are over Zoom. In April, we're starting back up in, with a lot of them in person. Um, art therapy, journaling, like Julie talked about. So we have all these other programs uh, that can help people uh, just kind of de-stress, relax, breathe, uh, like Julie said, and so that they're there for the long haul. Um, well, and I think you might actually have to add in a group cry now, according to Julie, I think we're going to. That, that, that would be okay. I'm telling you, it's a spiritual practice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just try it and see how yeah. everybody feels about it. That's all we can do, right? 